Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. If you watched my previous video of this series, I'm sure that now we have good knowledge of using basic Docker commands. In this video, we will try to understand what are the different types of Docker networks available and how to run applications in these networks. For demonstration, we will be deploying MongoDB and Mongo Express and see how to establish connection between these two. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's try to run MongoDB first. For that, we will pull the image from Docker Hub. Let's choose a specific version instead of using the latest version. Let's try to use 4.4.6. Let's go to terminal, pull the image with docker pull mongo 4.4.6. Well, we have MongoDB image with us. Now let's try to run this image to create the MongoDB container. For that, docker run mongo 4.4.6. Instead of running this image directly, let's see how we can configure this image. To check how we can configure this image, let's head back to the description section of this MongoDB image. If you can see here, we can set the environment variables. Mongo init root is a name and Mongo init root password. Basically, this creates a super user who can have all the privileges. Let's try to set up the user. To set up the user, we should pass these two variables as the environment variables. To pass environment variables to an image, we should use iPhone E flag. Let's give the username as root and let's also give the password as password. And let's publish the ports. By default, Mongo runs on 27,017 port and let's map it to the 27,017 port of the host and let's run it in the detached mode. Now we should have the MongoDB container up and running. If you see this is created 4 seconds ago and the status is up. Let's try to test this one from MongoDB Compass. MongoDB Compass is just a desktop tool I downloaded from the internet and installed just to test my Mongo database. You can use any tool of your choice like Robo3D etc. Let's fill in the connection fields. So we are running on the local host 27017 port and the username is root and the password is password. Let's connect it. Great, we are able to connect to the Mongo database. Now let's try to run Mongo Express. Mongo Express is a web-based application to connect to Mongo database. Previously, we tested from MongoDB Compass that is a desktop tool and this is a web-based application. Let's try to run this image. Let's go back to terminal. Docker run Mongo Express. And we should give details like to which database it should connect to iPhone E and same thing you can find out the configuration information from the docker hub page Let's head back to docker hub and find out the environment variables If you can see these are all the environment variables that we can configure on this image These four are the important ones The first one is the username the second one is a password and third one is a port If you don't specify the port automatically it takes 27,017 and MongoDB server is the host of your MongoDB that you want to connect to. Let's set up this. Our username was root and password was password. Let's set up the server also. Localhost. Let's keep the iPhone EE as well. And let's publish the ports. Mongo Express by default runs on 8081 and we are mapping it to the 8081 port of the host and let's run it in the detached mode. And let's give it some name. Let's run this. Wondered why I didn't pull the image first before running. If you see here, unable to find the image Mongo Express locally and it's pulling from the Docker Hub. When you do docker run, it automatically pulls the image if it doesn't exist in your system and runs it. So in short, docker run is equal to docker pull plus docker run. Well, let's try to access Mongo Express on localhost 8081. Boom, it's not working. Let us understand the root cause by checking the logs. Whenever a container is not working, you can check the logs with 
docker logs container id here the container id is this one if you see here it is not able to connect to the local host 27017 let's see what's happening here at the moment we have two containers on our docker host one is mongodb and the other one is mongo express we also have mongo compass which is desktop application note that it's not containerized meaning we didn't run this with docker we tried to access mongodb with the local host using compass and it worked but the same thing with express is not working here we are trying to access mongodb container from the mongo express container when you say local host from the container it's not same as local host from your host the container doesn't have any idea of what's going on outside unless we explicitly mention it as we discussed earlier when a container is created it gets a unique ip address so instead of giving local host let's give ip address of the container and see what happens and see what containers we have awesome we have mongodb which is running and mongo express which is failed let's try to get the ip address of this mongo container to get the ip address of any container we need to run docker inspect container id so this is the container information here at the end you can see the ip address if you want to print only ip address you can do grep ip address you can see the ip address here so let's try to give this ip address instead of localhost when we run the mongo express let's try to delete the mongo express which is failing docker rm container id okay now let's run the mongo express with the ip address of the mongodb container if you hit the up arrow you will get the recent commands and you can give the ip address here now let's try to access mongo express great it's working but giving an ip address always is not a great idea because if the ip address gets changed for any reason the mongo express doesn't work what if there is a way to refer the mongodb with the name of the container instead of ip address that can be achieved with docker networks if you want to see what are the different docker networks available on your host you can simply type docker network ls you can see the three different networks available here these are the three default networks created when you install your docker the three networks are bridge host and none let's start with none network if you have a container in this none network you will not be able to access anything outside this container except the resources of that container let's see that in action by running an alpine image in this none network if you don't know what is alpine alpine is linux lightweight distribution which is of just 5 mb let's try to run alpine image docker run alpine and let's run it in detached mode and let's run this one in none network to give the network you need to give iphone iphone network none so now this alpine image will run in the none network let's try to run this if you see the image is getting downloaded from the docker hub let's try to see the containers available if you see this is the alpine image we ran and this is exited immediately the reason why it didn't run is alpine is operating system the purpose of container is not to host any operating system the purpose of container is to run some service or to run some computation in the container when there is no service in the container immediately it gets exited here we are just running alpine image which is just operating system there is no other service is running that's the reason if you have seen previously Mongo Express immediately exited when it couldn't able to connect to the Mongo database. So when there is no service running in the container, it immediately exits. The only purpose of container is to run some service in the container. So let's fix this problem by running some command in this OS. I am just running a command of sleep for 500 seconds. So now some process will be going on in the OS, which is sleeping. 
So let's run this image now. If you try to see the containers now, I'm sorry. You can see it is up. Just like you are getting into your computer by logging in, you can get into the container and you can actually see what's going on inside your container. To get into any container, docker exec and your container id and you need to give iphone it and at the end you need to give sh don't worry about this command we will be discussing about this command in detail in our next videos for now just assume that docker exec command is just to get into the container let's run this if you see we are in the container now you can list down the folders available in this container. Now let's try to ping google.com. If you see, it's not able to identify google.com. That's the reason when you run any container in the none network, it cannot access anything outside the container. Forget about the google.com. It cannot even access the MongoDB container, which is running in the same Docker host. Network not reachable. So when you run any container in the none network, it cannot access anything outside that container. It's as simple as that. To come out of this container, you just type exit. Now we are in the Docker host. Now if you ping google.com, you get some response because you're not in the none network now, you're on the Docker host. But this network doesn't suit in most of the situation as we will be consuming different resources like APIs or MongoDB in our case. That's where bridge network comes into the picture. Bridge networks can access external resources and containers in the same network. Let us try to run the same Alpine image in the bridge network. For that, docker run Alpine in detached mode. To make some service running 500 and let's run this in bridge network please note that even if we don't specify the network by default it gets added to the bridge network now we should have alpine image running this is the one it created let's get into the container python it container id sh now we are in the container. Now let's try to ping google.com. If you see, we are able to receive the data from Google. So when a container is in the bridge network, it can access the external resources. Let's come out of the container. Now in the default bridge network, we have Alpine container running and we have MongoDB container running and also Mongo Express container is running. As we didn't give any network while creating this MongoDB and Mongo Express container, by default, they get added to the default bridge network. Now these three containers can communicate with each other. That's the reason we could able to access the MongoDB container from the Mongo Express container using the IP address of the MongoDB container. But our goal was to access the container with the name of the container instead of using IP address. This is not possible using the default bridge network. To access the container with the container name, we should create the custom bridge network. This is one of the differences between the default bridge network and custom bridge network. Default bridge network forbids accessing the other container using the container name. To access any container within the same network, we need to create the custom bridge network. To create the custom bridge network, Docker network create network name and we should mention this is of type bridge even if you don't mention by default it considers as bridge network please note that you cannot create a custom none network or custom host network you can only create custom bridge network there are other different networks also available like overlay macular now we should able to see our custom network in the network list. If you see here, this is our custom bridge network. Now let us try to run this MongoDB in this custom bridge network. Before that, let's try to stop and remove the existing containers just to demonstrate how to delete all containers at once.
to stop all the containers at once all you need to do is docker stop dollar docker ps hyphen a so this will stop all the containers and also you can delete all the containers with docker rm now if you list containers you will not see any containers now let's try to run the mongodb in this custom bridge network we use this command initially to run the mongodb container let's try to run the same thing but in custom bridge network to connect to a network all you need to do is hyphen hyphen network or just net mongo net and let's give it some name so that we can refer to it in future hyphen hyphen name mongo db let's enter now the container is created let's try to run the mongo express now let's create this container also in the same custom bridge network hyphen hyphen net mongo net and instead of giving it ip address of the container let's try to give the name of the mongodb container if you remember this was the name we given while creating the mongodb container now we are referring to this mongodb from mongo express with just name of the container let's hit enter let's try to access mongo express localhost 8081 here we go we are able to run Mongo Express by connecting to the MongoDB with just container name. And the third network we have is host network. When you create a container in the host network, you can access anything from this container. As a practice, you can create Alpine container in host network and try to access different containers and external resources like google.com and verify whether you are able to access everything from this container. That's it for this video. I hope now you have enough understanding on Docker networks and how to communicate with other containers. I hope you followed along with me and MongoDB is up and running in your system. We will be using this Mongo database in our next videos. Stay tuned. My name is Pawan Iltepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.